Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know I'm All City with All City Live TV.com, and thank you for tuning in. Hey, we're trying to bring you some beginner tips for NBA 2K21. A lot of you guys are just starting out playing 2K21 for the first time this year, either on current gen or on next gen. And I, I understand your feelings about the game. I know it can be frustrating at times, and it's a huge learning curve, but it's a learning curve for everyone out there. I'm a veteran of 2K. Been playing the game since its inception on dreamcast and i still had trouble meeting and making that learning curve man it's difficult it's a process and you got to get out there and just try to get over the process because we love basketball we may not love 2k but we love basketball it's the only viable basketball option out there unfortunately it is what it is i'm not knocking the people who really enjoy 2k we want you guys to enjoy 2k i gotta say it's really humbling the growth that we've had on this channel we're 30,000 subscribers in and it feels so much larger and we've been fortunate enough to connect with some great creators and just great people in general man I, if it wasn't for 2k I wouldn't have been able to meet such a great amount of people man it's such good people at that shout out to our admin team who monitor our our channel and our discord because those guys are absolutely awesome everyone who joins the discord man because you know we practice what we preach and we give off good energy that energy is reciprocated man good energy is hella contagious so you know we keep our discord with positive vibes we keep the vibes on our channel nothing but positivity out here although with all like down to earth type of people who really get busy with it one way or another whatever you want to bring to us we give back to you but we prefer to have it positive vibes so that's what we try to give off the most and that's what we've been getting in return and that's why it's such it's such like a humbling experience to grow here on youtube and grow our community within discord we've been able to connect with some great content creators like badge plug jez brutal sim pacers gaming and it's just like is a humbling experience to say the least. Totally grateful that I've had an opportunity to connect with you guys. If you guys would like to join our Discord, consider joining. The link for Discord is gonna be in the description below. We would love to have you. We're gonna get into the best tips that I have gathered from everybody within our community and give them to you guys in this beginner's tips video for NBA 2K21. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so before we start this video, first and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to our homie Tanner. Tanner is one of our city legends and he's been a huge staple in our community. I appreciate all of your contributions and everything you do for our community. Our prayers and deepest condolences go out to you and your family. Let's get on with the tips for beginners on NBA 2K21. And the first tip that I have to tell you guys about is taking off the who to guard option. A lot of people don't go into their controller settings and take off the who to guard option. Listen, 2K said that they weren't gonna be taking over your player, but unfortunately that is still the case. If you take off the who to guard option, you, your player on defense will be way more responsive. Another tip is the, the defensive assist with intense defense. Another way that 2K takes over your player. Now you won't initially notice it until you start getting into more competitive gameplay and you start noticing these little slight adjustments and movements that 2K does to your player while you're out there. And you wanna have full control of your player, lower your defensive assist all the way down. Another defensive uh, tip that I have for you guys came from It's Bake. When you're out there, you might want to check out It's Bake. Check out his channel. He has some great tips. I've applied his defensive tips to my gameplay and it's been a tremendous difference for defense. When you're out there, if you're holding L2, do not move your left stick. 
if you if you want to move in one direction let go of l2 get in position and then press l2 again to go into intense defense when you go in when you press l2 2k takes that as you going into intense defense and they feel like they have to get involved with your movement out there so if you want to be more responsive and you want to play better defense when you're moving and trying to get into position don't move laterally because you're going to move extra slow and it's just going to cause the ball handler to blow right past you so on on ball defense when you're moving let go of l2 when you're when you want to play intense defense hit l2 after you're in position and then 2k will give you that clamp up animation which a lot of you guys want and a lot of people feel like clamps is is just garbage this year and this is the reason why because you're moving while pressing l2 the next tip i want to tell you guys about is practicing your shot timing your dribble moves all of that out there in the city you can head on over to the mamba court or the black lives matter court and a lot of people have trouble finding out like where is the mamba court i've noticed that people still don't know where's the mamba court or the black lives matter course and i'm going to show you guys right now so you don't have any trouble what you got to do is really look for this little icon right here between beast of the east and north side knights and it's a little like white box with the number 24 on it you're gonna see it right along this area the city hub is here and you're gonna see the uh mamba court right there number 24 you could come on over to this side and on the same just to the left of the mamba court between the western wildcats and the vipers you're gonna see the black lives matter court and that's how you could go right over here black lives matter court right here with the fist symbol that they have on there so just so you guys know you can head on over to these courts and practice your jump shot so that you get your timing down you may want to consider taking off your shot timing so that way you don't see the bar going across and you don't get too used to the bar because if you out there you're trying to get used to the bar and then you experience some level of latency your timing is always going to be off you want to get used to the actual motion the animation the release point find that release point so that is always through and through you're gonna hit your shot 100% of the time if you master that release point uh, 2k21 has the option now where if you put on the right jump shot and you master your timing you can hit 100% greens if you get that excellent release every single time and the best way to do that is to head on over to one of these courts here and practice your shot timing you want to get out there practice your shot timing so that way you can compete better when you're out there against higher level competition and the next tip I want to offer you guys is some key badges to start out with because a lot of you guys are not sure exactly how to set up your badges and this this may be subject to like what type of player you have out there so it may vary depending on the player that you have out there but a general like idea of the badges that you should start equipping initially on your grind for 2k for finishing shooting playmaking and defense let's go into the finishing initially right off rip you should be considering posterizer nba 2k 21 is going crazy with contact dunks there are highlights everywhere we made shake downs top 10 just this week from catching a contact dunk and dropping two people on the ground so posterizer is a must-have badge out there you might want to target that along with slithery 2k is really bad at like this year with allowing the like the uh, person who's driving to go into the paint with the slithery animation it is really just moving defenders out the way if you're a defender in the paint especially you got low interior defense although we don't believe that interior defense attribute plays a part in uh like guarding somebody who's driving into the paint a lot of people do have low interior defense and that doesn't help with somebody who has slithery on gold or hall of fame so you want to target slithery and posterizer initially probably the first two badges you want to target out there and again it may vary you guys may be targeting different badges to play differently that's the beauty about especially this 2k in particular there's so many variations of different type of builds out there that play differently you might want to set up your badges to just play differently first few badges to set up for shooting is something like deep threes and now one of the most goaded badges badges out there on 2k if you're taking leaners if you don't know about a good like 
dribble uh what is it a dribble pull up i think it is put on normal one it's a, like a glitch uh leaner and you'll have you put on blinders with normal one and deep threes and it's a gg those are the first two badges that i personally will start targeting now although hot zone hunter is still a super golden badge i may rearrange that to start taking leaners on this player i actually did create a player uh recently to take leaners in particular and that's what i'm working on now working well at least i'm learning that but deep threes and blinders two golden badges right now high zone hunter is an absolute must so you work between those initially for your shooting playmaking quick first step is absolutely goaded this year now on this particular player i have unpluckable on um, bronze but if you're a ball handler and intend to be a ball handler out there you may have to increase unpluckable handles for days another absolute must out there i don't have a lot of playmaking on this build but there is a ton of bad that you can incorporate into your playmaking and dribble dribble moves out there but initially you're going to probably have to go with quick first step handles for days and unpluckable just the starting point for you beginners out there now let's get into defense now defense has been suspect all the way around this player in particular has a good amount of perimeter defense 95 perimeter defense 95 steel i made him like a perimeter lock at 6 6 to move fast because he has a 90 speed a 88 acceleration but uh, for some reason clamps interceptor and pickpocket aren't working to my expectations so i decided to spread my bag Badges out now I have the opportunity I have a total of 26 I only have 22 out of the 26 right now so I'm spreading them out to see what works best on defense and when I see things activate although this spread in particular has been working out really good for me there wasn't too much a noticeable difference when I dropped clamps interceptor and pickpocket from Hall of Fame and put them on silver which allowed me to spread my defensive badges so something that you guys may want to consider another good tip is to spread them out and then work them up as soon as you see something like that's effective out there hopefully you guys found these tips helpful and or informative if you did please consider dropping a like also if you guys would like to become a part of a great 2k community always helpful and informative always getting good runs in you need players to run with consider joining our discord the link for discord is going to be in the description below it's is also going to be the top pinned comment on this video drop a sub if you're new we would love to have you become a part of the all city family until next time i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all